Coming up on Tech Talk, we're going to talk storage. That's coming up right now. Hard drives, flash drives, SD cards. I'm sure if you uh, do a lot of computing, you have a lot of ways to store your data. One of the solutions I came up with about a year, year and a half ago, was this Oracle hard drive um, enclosure that you could put up to five hard drives in. And I've been using it for about a year. So I'm gonna do a little review on this. And this is one of the solutions I tried to come up with because once you get into a lot of video and photos, you start filling up hard drives a lot. And um, of course you'll fill up your internal hard drive on your computer fast. So you probably need some extra storage. There's, there's all kinds of solutions. And I came up with this. I'll show you how this works. The enclosure is very well built. It's all aluminum. It's very heavy. It'd be very hard to knock it off your desk. It comes with five three and a half inch drive bays. All your connections are on the back. USB 3.0, eSATA, on off switch, and your power connector, along with the fan, which is pretty quiet. To install the drives into the bays, it, they have four little clips on them right in here and of course that's where you would attach it to if you were mounting into a desktop or another structure where the where the uh, screws go in a PC they just mount in just like that so really all you have to do is slide it in and it gets Pretty much right in there. Make, make sure that it's snapped in. And that's all you have to do. And of course, then you slide it in the back of the enclosure. And that's how it connects. And all you do is just slide it in the back of the... It clicks in, and you know it's ready to go. Plug it into a USB 3 port. Plug it in the wall. Hit the power switch. It'll fire up. You'll see that blue lights come on. What your drives are, are in, you can have one drive or up to five. And then they'll appear on your desktop, on the Mac, as you can see, and you're ready to go. The drive that I used in the uh, hard drive enclosure was a Western Digital 2 terabyte green drive, which is a 5400 RPM drive. This one is particular 32 megabytes of cache. And of course, you could always use a different drive. You could use faster drives or whatever, but just so that you know what I used to do the comparison of this, a Thunderbolt 3 drive and a Lacey 3.0 drive. The first test I ran on the enclosure itself with the 2 terabyte Western Digital 5400 RPM drive. And I used a project that was a 135 and a half gigabytes. The computer told me it was going to take about 26 minutes. It's a Final Cut Pro project. And it actually uh, f finished at a little bit over 25 minutes, 45 seconds. So computer was pretty much right on. Next test was on the Lacey USB 3, USB-C, 4 terabyte, 7400 RPM drive, the same 135 megabyte or gigabyte project took, it said the computer said it would take 18 minutes and again it was pretty much right on. It finished just a little bit over 1824. Next, I tested it with my 10 terabyte G technology drive. It's Thunderbolt 3. I just got it recently. It took the same 135 gigabyte project. Told me it would take about 14 minutes. And it did 14 minutes, 12 seconds. Definitely the fastest drive by at least four minutes. And so it's putting this video together. My Lacey 2 big dock 20 terabyte drive arrived and it's in RAID configuration, so it's very fast. So I figured I would test it against the other three um, drives that I've tested. 
And uh, so I added that to this, and I will be doing a complete video and review on this and an unboxing coming up. So I unboxed my uh, Lacey 2 terabyte Thunderbolt 3 drive in RAID 0, which is the fastest RAID. There's no redundancy, so it copies to two disks. The computer said seven minutes it would take for this project, the same 135 and a half gigabytes, but unfortunately it was it went well over that in fact it was it finished at 1431 which is a full 19 seconds less than the G drive just with Thunderbolt a little bit disappointing recap of the results the, the fastest drive that I tested was a G technology 10 terabyte Thunderbolt 3 drive the second fastest was the two big lacy 20 terabyte Thunderbolt in RAID 0. The third drive was the Lacey 3 terabyte slash USB 3.0 USB C drive. And lastly was the Arco enclosure, which this whole review was based on, with the Western Digital 5400 RPM drive in USB 3. So I hope this helps you a little bit making a decision. I was a little disappointed in my newest drive, but um, it wasn't that, that much slower. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.